We're a private company, but if you, if you look beyond the profits and kind of the capitalistic intent, we're really here for the development of Africa, for the development of the region. And there's no way we can do that as a Nigerian company without thinking broadly in terms of Africa. Um, and again, the only way we can do that efficiently is through forums like this one, where we can meet all kinds of different people, hear their concerns, find ways we can invest together to build a, a network that supports e-commerce on a regional basis. If you think as an African country, and this happens um, uh, uh, in, many, in many emerging markets also, so it's not unique to Nigeria. When you do e-commerce, you have two fundamental problems. One is around payments and getting people to pay. So you introduce things like cash on delivery, so you deliver first and then people pay. Even in some parts of Europe you see this. But the really big problem is the logistics. Now, in Nigeria, we've got three really big cities, Lagos, Port Harcourt and Abuja. And these cities today make up 70-75% of Nigeria's GDP. But I think in the next three to five years, the share of GDP of these three cities is going to become smaller. And the other cities will become more important. Conga cannot continue to invest in the logistics to do everything, especially when we have the Nigerian postal system with um, physical presence in every corner of Nigeria. So what we have to do is to work together with these government enterprises to tell them how to invest, where to invest, how to get ready for the new e-commerce future, where to put the money, and also invest with them. So this is really, really important. Otherwise, we will not realize the dream of e-commerce. Otherwise, e-commerce in Nigeria will just be in these three big cities. And that's not my dream. That's not the dream of Conga. We want to serve every Nigerian everywhere, no matter whether they're in a big city or in a village. Oh, absolutely. I don't think we've seen um, as much political will um, in, in many other countries. And I think, you know, the, the present Minister of Communications, which is interesting because she happens to sit on, on the dual um, portfolios of, of um, Nigerian postal system, logistics, and also telecommunications, which is really, really convenient. They understand that, look, the postal service is getting disrupted by the internet. The traditional bread and butter revenue stream, which is mail, is getting destroyed by SMS and email. But at the same time, the parcel business is growing. They see this happening. And it's very clever of them to see this happening. So they are proactively trying to make this um, go on. In fact, they were the ones that said, look, as an e-commerce player, we want you to come to the UPU conference and, and talk and uh, explain to other emerging market sort of players what your challenges are. We want you to come meet the other African postal services to see how we can work together. So there's tremendous will to make this happen, I think.